Hi, this is uh, Mathematics with M's, Grade 12, Financial Mathematics, Revision of Grade 10 and 11, Part 2. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember that in Grade 12, Financial Maths, you need to know annuities, present and future value. You must also know nominal and effective rates, and you must know sinking funds. But in this video, we still focus on revision of grade 10 and 11 content. Nominal and effective interest rates. When working with problems involving interest, we use the term payment period as follows. For annually, that is once a year. Semi-annually or half-yearly means twice a year. Quarterly means four times a year. And monthly means 12 times a year. In the financial world, we come across two different types of rates, namely the nominal rate and the effective rate. In any calculation that we do, we have to work with the effective rate. Formula for that is 1 plus i effective equals to 1 plus i nominal over n to the power of n, where i effective is the rate annually. i norm is normal rate and n is the number of compounding years. Question, if bank A offers a rate of 40% per annum compounded monthly and bank B offers you a rate of 50% compounded quarterly, which offer will you accept? Well, the answer is to make a choice, translate both rates to read the same. Example, per annum compounded annually or per month compounded monthly. A rate is where the, where the stated period and compound period reads the same is known as the effective rate of interest. 12% per annum stated period and 12% compounded monthly, that is compounded period. <coughs> Let's look at normal rate <coughs> in the first column and effective rate in the second column. Number one, 12% per annum compounded monthly. The interest rate is compounded 12 times a year. So, so the rate is 12 divide by 12, which is 1% per month, compounded monthly. The same example, compounded semi-annually, will be 12 divided by 2, which is 6% per semi-annum, compounded semi-annually, and 12% per uh, compounded quarterly, it is 12 divided by 4, which is 3% per quarter, compounded quarterly. All right, number 4. Change a normal rate of interest of 14% per annum, compounded monthly, to an effective rate. So there you are. So you substitute I norm with 4, 0 0.14. And of course, divide by 12, because we said it is monthly. There's 12 months in a year to the power of 12. Right? Then, of course, you can use your calculator to simplify this. Then you get I effective is 0 0.1493, which, of course, you must convert back to interest rate. So you multiply by 12, I mean by 100, sorry, and you get 14,93%. Let's look at compound DK. Richard bought a Toyota for 250,000 rand in five years. He would like to replace his vehicle with a new one. He decides to work on a depreciation rate of 18% per annum on a reducing balance basis. What will the value of this vehicle be five years from now? So it's depreciation, so it is 1 minus, I take note, so therefore 25,000 into 1 minus 0 0.08, remember it is 18 divided by 100, don't forget, and then of course to the power of 5. And on the calculator you get the answer 164,770 rand, 0.38 cents. Right, this is uh, Ahmed Suleiman with Mathematics with Amps. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Subscription is free.